Hey there, my fellow designers and creatives. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chetan here from Design Palette and I am back again today with a very new, exciting tutorial. Now this video is gonna be a little different because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys the various easing properties that are there in Adobe XD when you're prototyping. Uh, I'm just gonna show you how each of those easings affect, uh, you know, the elements when you prototype them. So uh, without any further ado, let's get started. Okay, so here I'm in Adobe XD and this is a simple artboard that I have uh, which I pulled off from one of the UI kits. If you want to get some couple of cool UI kits, you can go to a uh, file and choose get UI kits and choose more UI kits. Pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a series of animations um, that happen. Uh, just a single animation actually with multiple elements. Uh, it's going to be pretty cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate um, this layer by pressing Ctrl D. Now this artboard is going to be our final screen and this is going to be the one previous. Uh, to that so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here select this uh, let's actually ungroup these all right you can select this and press uh, Control shift G to ungroup and I'm gonna select this compass make sure I turn off responsive resize and I'm gonna know down these uh, values 166 and 265 all right so 166 and two, let's actually write that down over here so we don't forget 166 and 265 all right just in case we need it pretty good so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and set this to zero. All right, so it's a pretty small, you know, object and uh, 166 and 265. So the next one is going to, let's actually move this number up. We're gonna duplicate this, all right? And this time this is also gonna be small. So 118 and 217, is it? All right, so let's actually set this to zero first. And I'm gonna press Control uh, Shift C to bring that to the center of the document, and then we can bring this down. Uh, let's, uh, let's actually bring this down and probably pop it right there. All right, let's uh, duplicate this by pressing Control D. Oops, uh, we want this to be on the left side, like so. And this one is gonna be smaller this time. So uh, zero and zero, and Shift C. Then bring this down and yep, there we go. And duplicate this one last time. Then we can take this and zero, zero and shift C to bring it to the center. And we can bring this down like so. All right, it's looking pretty good. Now, so basically it starts with nothing and then we have the first circle, second circle, third circle and the compass that, you know, comes on. So now let's go ahead and prototype it. So this is going to be my home screen. So I'm just going to click on this and make it uh, my home screen. And then I'm going to prototype this. So the trigger is going to be tap. The action is going to be auto animate and the destination is going to be this keyboard, sorry, this artboard. And this is what we're going to be taking, taking a look at in this video. So easing, so we have couple of options. So we're going to start off each and I'm going to show you how it works. So ease out and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to set the duration to one second so you guys get an idea of how uh, it works when it's in slow motion. I'm going to take this and I'm going to drag this. Now it automatically copies the same settings. So that's one pretty good cool thing. Drag this and drag this and the last artboard we can bring that back to over here. All right. Now another thing that we need is uh, to change the trigger to a different one for these three artboards. Now because uh, this, when I tap on this, this uh, artboard is going to appear, but I don't want to tap again. I want it to automatically take in the, I want it to automatically happen. So how do I do that? Uh, I'm going to click over here and from trigger, from tap, I'm going to set that to time and I'm going to set the delay to zero seconds, uh, to zero seconds or probably 0 0.1, let's see. And I'm gonna do the same thing over here. The trigger um, is going to be time. And uh, this one is also going to be time. Uh, but this one I want it to be tap. All right, so now let's see how this looks. And it'll be pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna tap. There we go. Pretty good. Yeah. So what's actually happening is it start off, so ease out starts off slowly. Sorry, starts off fast and then comes to a smooth end in the end. So there you go. So as you can see, it starts off fast and then it goes in sl slowly. Now, let's see what happens if I set this to probably uh, 0 0.4 seconds. Uh, let's try that. 
okay set this also to 0 0.4 set this also to 0 0.4 and set this also to 0 0.4 and the last one you can just keep it like that all right now let's check it out all right so there you go that's looking pretty good actually okay so the next thing we will do is we want to change it from ease out to ease in so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to quickly go ahead and make a couple of changes over here. So I'm going to unlink this because I want to link this uh, object. So I'm going to drag this, put this in. It's going to be tap, uh, ease in one second. That is perfect. So what ease in does, it, it starts off slowly and then it speeds up in the end. All right, so let's take a look. All right, so there you go. It starts off slowly and then it bam smashes it in the end. All right, let's try that once again. So it slowly starts and goes faster and yeah it's pretty good all right so the next one is going to be which is let's take a look um it's going to be ease in and ease out so basically it's a combination of both it starts off slowly ramps up in the middle of the animation and then slows down again at the end so let's check it out uh let's set this back to one second let's check it out so there you go you can see that it starts off slowly and then it goes faster in the center uh, when it's in the middle of the animation and then it slows down again in the end. All right, so, okay. So what's up next? We have one of the most favorite and the fun ones, which is called Snap. So let's check it out and see how this looks. All right. All right, now, if you can see slowly that you can see some kind of overshoot or a bouncing effect, you would probably get it if I set this to 0 0.4 seconds. Take a look. All right, you can see that you have that, that nice bouncy effect, like, all right, it's kind of bouncy, but it's not too bouncy, it's just adding that little bit of motion uh, to it. Uh, definitely, you guys should try it out, you guys could feel the difference. Okay, so the next one is bounce itself, which is gonna be pretty, uh, you know, powerful. Uh, so, wow, okay, let's check out wind up first, all right, so I'm gonna set this to one second. Here you go. Let's take a look. Now this animation kind of looks like the ease in effect, but the thing that you need to notice is actually not here. If I go here and set this to be um, wind up in one second, now you're probably gonna see what's gonna happen. It gives the overshoot effect right at the beginning and not at the end, all right? So let's take a look and uh, let's play this once again. So there you go. Now, if I set the duration of this to be a little less, so if I set this to probably 0 0.4 seconds, you're gonna see a little bit of a change over here, all right? All right, so there you go. You can see that to be more evident, let's actually uh, make this my home screen now. And every time I press on this, it's gonna start off with this. So you can see that, all right? It's pretty good. The next one is going to be bounce. So bounce is a little serious over here. Let's take a look. All right, so there you go. That was pretty serious. Bounce does some serious damage and yep. Uh, was this also a bounce? Uh, oh, let's set this to bounce and see what happens. Set this to one second. Is everything else one second? Yep, it is. Let's uh, play this and see how this looks. Oh, there you go. Now, the good thing about bounce is you get the same bounce amount irrespective of where the object is coming from. So what I'm trying to say is, for example, uh, let's say I create a new artboard just in case. So... Uh, let's go ahead and create a new artboard. All right, just like so, all right? And you know, we make a duplicate, duplicate of this. Let's go ahead and grab some text and we'll come over here and then just type in text, all right? Let's uh, make this a little bit bigger, all right? Something like that, okay? And I'm gonna bring this over here and I'm gonna make a copy and then bring it over here. So make sure this is in the center and this is in the center as well. Now I'm gonna move this right at the top, all right? There we go. Now I'm gonna go ahead and prototype these two artboards, link these two, we're gonna set the uh, easing to bounce and probably set this to, let's say 0 0.6 seconds. And now let's play this, okay? So what's happening is, oh, okay, we, we, let's link this back. Check it out, All right? So there you go. Now you can see a good amount of bounce effect but if I go ahead and move this up over here, now the distance between this and this is going to be much less, all right? So let's see what happens. You get the same amount of bounce, all right? You get the same amount of bounce. But it's different when you do it with a different, um, uh, you know, when you do it with snap, all right? 
So snap over here and snap over here is going to be a little different. Let's check it out. So there you go. You can see that subtle movement, uh, but it wasn't too much. But when I bring this text down completely at the bottom, let's check it out. You can see that the amount of that bounce is much more because it's coming at a faster speed. So to illustrate this much better, what I can do is let's take this artboard and bring this completely down, like full down. And yeah, we're gonna, oops, that's uh, it's full down. Let's take a look, all right? It's gonna be pretty weird, but yeah. All right, you can see that. You can see the amount of movement is much more. It kind of exits the screen over here. So this depends on the velocity, but this one, if I move this right over here, irrespective of the artboard size, all right, you, you, you don't even see it because the velocity is much less. It's coming from a closer distance and so the velocity is much less. All right, so that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you did, let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more amazing, awesome content. And I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. So until then, take care and bye-bye.